Hello there, Blazer! We're Blazer here, and I'm back playing for you guys from Dragon Quest VIII. I had a little bit of an oopsie just a second ago. I don't think it's fixed. There's a man yelling at another man over here. And... Uh, I just actually wanted to mention about the crossbow challenge, since you saw me in the previous episode take down a random target out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you cannot find targets in the city. They wouldn't do that to you. Because, first of all, how does it look? A man brandishing a crossbow out in the middle of nowhere. Hey, he looked kind of like the kid that I saw. But, my... I guess my concern... What do you have to do? Worry for a kid, because you worry for a kid who has a title, which is the son of a dude. I think we all have that title, but... He looked like he is sick. I must take him the food that is Malto... Oh. Oh, these... I... I mean, good on you guys for, like, sicking the themes, but... Hmm. Oh, you're the item merchant. Grazie mille for choosing my shop. I get bored if I have no customers. A lord. I am sorry if I've butchered any of- Hello. Hmm. Utility belt. Might be worth it. checking out later. I didn't realize the item shops could sell accessories. Where is that child I saw? Excuse me, other child. Oh. I speak to the local boy on the bridge earlier, but he didn't say a single word in return. He's never so shy. Are you travelers too? And you don't have a ship of your own? It can't be easy. Then again, speed and everything, I suppose. Oh, it's on the move, and I'm kind of my husband's shop. It'd be nice to take things a little more slowly from time to time. Well, he did say cake. Oh, she's a shoemaker. Well, where'd that kid go? When I last saw him, he ran up from here. Be under the bridge, would he? He's not a troll. Be in this, no, that's not an alley. Hmm. Where is he? I is that like I feel like the plot needs him to progress, but like. Huh, a red mage talking, no, a bard trying to, yep, being successful in that. I'm a singer, but my throat is no, is no so good today. I hear about this bird song, it's, it's, that's what she's doing, it's what she's doing. Hercules. You are correct, I don't know who that is. Oh, it's a competition where men from all the whole wide world can together to use the best one. I think the fact that I have a symbol on my hand that shows me being the literal light of the world kind of puts me at the um, past qualifications for best. Come on, let me take a shortcut. Ah. Has anyone seen a child? Looks like a Saiyan. Tan Saiyan or a tanned Saiyan? No? Alright then, I guess I'll just continue to break your barrels and loot your homes. Hmm. The little amount I find from time to time is certainly worth remembering and being thankful for, but considering a good old grind fest kinda, you know, nullifies that by that price seem also insignificant. 
Oh, recipe book. I'm gonna make gold platters, gold chains, and gold bracers. Oh, it's the book of gaudiness. And if it's armor, uselessness. There's no door there. The door's fake. Um, there's a bank here, actually. Uh, I'm going to pause a little bit. Oh, that's right, I can only deposit it in the thousands. Alright then. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go raid your upstairs. Ah! Oh, I don't want to look at Noah's art. That's for lore. I'm not chasing after lore right now. I'm chasing after items, materials, recipes, swords! Oh, Lord. I'm too old for picture books. I've literally seen the destruction of my home. I think it could give me a break in the picture book. Oh, wait a minute. Well, there are roofs. Roof, roof, roof. Oh, tightrope. Excuse me, I'm just going to Assassin's Creed this up. Oh yeah. Whoa. I don't think you can fall off of there. Besides, if, if, they, if you could, I think that's had uh, falling damage. Magic water's okay, fine. Excuse me, have any of you seen a small child? Any of you? Small child. Super Saiyan. Ah, there he is. <laughs> what you look at? If you don't want something, go away. Correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't that the kid? Wow, alright then. I'm like 90% certain that was the kid. Hello. Oh, the docks are building. Oh, well, here we are. It's time for story. <laughs> Can you believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. Great. So I guess we just have to sit tight till this contest thing is over, huh? Oh, Lord. See, si, is the only choice. I am sorry, but Senor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. Senor <laughs> Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Naturalmente. Senor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. Huh. Power, grace, and deep. A deep power grace. There's a joke to be made there, but I'm not the man to make it. Um... I'm sure I'm pretty strong. Somewhat graceful. I never speak, which must mean I'm deep. La competizione is the reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men at this moment. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Well, who's with me? Come on, you know you want to. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. I can see Veronica being like, I don't care about some silly contest. She's a man who caps your fancy. Although... Her head's slowly turning. 
Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? I don't think Serena's gonna be on your side, my dude. Well, um... <laughs> rather hungry myself and well we can't leave until the contest's over anyway so <laughs> I'm sorry I just like how she frowned and then just casually steps over to them <laughs> I don't believe this I don't either Aaron but it is funny <laughs> freaking Veronica's all freaking stuck up and stuff shirt and <laughs> Eric's the one who's like, I'm the killjoy now? Hey, listen, we're kind of in a hurry here, and we really need to get to the dock. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente, the person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. Dojo Rotondo. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. You heard the man. Let's go ask this doge guy to let us into the docks. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna have to go ask a doge for help, huh? That doesn't bode well. Of course they'd stop by the cakes. I'm, I'm curious what they have to say. <laughs> it looks right until those cakes are delicious. Not anything like that back home. Little, little clouds, I wonder how they taste. How would you live with too sweet for me, wouldn't they? Yeah, some these are for now. It's so frustrating trying to buy some new shoes, but all the ones I like are far too big for me. Oh, it's so ridiculous. What's wrong with these stupid people? Uh, they don't expect you to be a, a woman trapped in a child's body, Veronica. There's actually a purple down there, and I wonder if. Or is that pink? I can't remember which is quest. Oh. You are a quest. Oh no, you're you're helpful. Um Yeah, it's over here. Oh, there were extra houses I didn't loot. Oh, here I go. Oh, we'll see. This must be the place. Let's see if he's home. I mean, if you plot him into loop. Oh, oh, no, me, no, no. I am coming. Uh, hey. We're looking for the doge? We need to ask him a favor. Bene. I am Doge Rotondo. Always I am happy to help. I have nothing to say to you. Niente! Now you must go. Andate via! What? What the... Hey, wait! So much for Malto Gentile. I've met kinder judges. He took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait, you don't think... Nah, how would he know you were on the run? And why just you? Yeah, you know about you too, Eric, because uh, the blue-haired thief is a bit more of a standout than the brown hair, the long brown, no, the mid, uh, the, the mid-length brown-haired normal-looking guy like me. Although I do have the green eyes, which doesn't help. Oh, there you are. Veronica's managed to get herself into a bit of a scrape. Please, you have to come and help. Oh, I feel you there, Eric. Man, you can't take that kid anywhere. Still, I guess we won't be sailing out of here anytime soon. Might as well go see what's up. I really do put him in Mr. Chester Lucas' house. Give it back, you dirty, rotten thief! It's not like you can use it anyway. A kid like you wouldn't have the first idea what to do with a wand. Why no? You are the kid, just like me. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. What's going on here, Serena? 
We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. Staff. We caught up with him here, but he won't give it back. Truth to staff, not a wand. Hey! <sighs> Here. Don't let it get swiped so easily next time. <laughs> I like how Eric's just like, here's the most direct comfort. Here's the most direct way. But why did you even want my wand in the first Zap. place? It's not worth much money, you know. Um. Uh, I, uh. Hmm? What is it, kid? Spit it out. Okay, Placido. I explain the situation. My name is Benigno. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Rotondo. He did look like the son. I didn't want to say anything until I knew for sure, but he did look like the son. Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. Happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. So I think, if I have the magic, maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? Capisce? I thought it was Capisce. Fine. You're forgiven. Now, tell me more about your friend's lost also, voice. Also, she's not a child. She's a full-grown woman and the body of a child, so... Uh, I'm being an abuser, kiddo. It's his throat. There's some sort of... awful... Been cursed, poor thing. Who cursed a child? I might be able to help him if I had some bird song nectar, but I'd need some water from a sacred fountain to make it. And well, hold up. I, I can you tell me who just looked at you, boy? Cursed, <gasps> you needed a special, very, very holy water to help Placido. See. I hear people talking about something like this. The river, west of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto speciale. I know I still have the wand. And I know this is very bad. But per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since we are the small children. You're still small children. Bambini piccoli. Yeah, no, you're still small children, kid. Like... Uh, oh, I think it's supposed to be... I think what he means is like five and below, and he looks to be about ten or so now. Plus, you know, Saiyan age is different than a... And now you are his only hope. You will help him, see? See? Yeah, I, I do quest. Grazie mille, signore! You bring her the water from the grotta and make the special nectar. And I will stay to take care of Placido. Alright, so we have our first little quest here. I also apparently cannot go into that room. There's the guys in there. He's probably locked it now. Oh, oh hello, lady. Imagine he's a sailor, he traveled all over Iridia, so. Uh oh, let's see. He tell me about a prisoner. <laughs> Dang sailors. Well, that's for your husband. He knows where he shouldn't. I'm here. Mini metal! Worth. It's in your bedroom. Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed, of course. This freaking dude is like... <laughs> well, honey, you know what's the most important thing about telling you about well, being overseas and not... Like, I, I would I'd be like, look, don't worry. <laughs> There's some bad news going around, but we're gonna be safe. That's how you do it. You don't just be like, hey, did you know there's a prisoner? I could have almost gotten killed or what? Oh, same tonight, then. And she's a sweet bit, sweet bit. Uh, 
Ah, uh, the dude probably knows that we're... I mean, he didn't give a description, right? They didn't see, like, my face? Right? Right? I mean, as long as they didn't see my face and they didn't, you know, they didn't get a good description. Why just me? Eric was a troublemaker too. And no, go after that Jaron. Ignore the thief. Ah. Oh, there's a, there's a priest girl. Yeah, I've heard about him. Oh, good. He sent both of them after us. I hope your kingdom gets invaded, my dude. Hmm. Oh, okay, so we're getting it. This will actually read before we end the episode. Really, everybody's talking about him, you know? I suppose I'd better fill you in. It all started when the kingdom called Dundras... Dundrasil was destroyed. It's Dark Spawn who did it, you see. And that's all she has to say. Alright, and I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, you know what to do here. And I really do appreciate if you do any of what to do if you liked the video. So until the next one, I just want to say, laters.